Yeah, hi, I'm Barbara Resnick. I'm a geriatric nurse practitioner and I'm a professor at the University of Maryland School of Nursing and I do clinical work in a continuing care retirement community. We talked today about optimizing function and physical activity across all levels of care and really thinking both at the research side what evidence there is that there's benefit to that as well as what research is there that shows how we can do it and how we can make it happen. And on the clinical side, it was some of the tricks of the trade for how to make it happen, how to engage older adults and those that provide their care in optimizing them doing their own functional, act, functional skills, functional care, and then engaging in some regular physical activity. One of the most important things to think about is what it means when you remain sedentary. And I think people forget that sedentary activity is what results in a number of the clinical problems we have. It increases your risk of infection, increases your risk of pressure sores, causes things like edema, it causes deconditioning, you become weaker, and it starts an entire vicious cycle. So the bottom line is, anything you do is better than nothing. I think quite simply, if you're not sure, you can follow. There's some wonderful physical activity guidelines from the American College of Sports Medicine and the American Heart Association. At a individual level, what we want to do is optimize what the person's underlying capability is. I'll give you some very easy examples. It's quite simply, if you have somebody living at home who can bring their hand to their mouth, they should be eating by themselves. You may have to role model that behavior, you may have to show them how, but it's thinking about those ways to engage people. In some cases with regard to physical activity, ignorance is bliss, and quite simply it's holding your hands behind your back and having the person do as much as they can before you step in there and do it for them. And so it's really thinking, how can I get that person to their highest level. You're not gonna do any harm. What you're gonna do harm by is letting somebody sit and do nothing. I think um, this is something that has to be integrated into all the work that you do. It has to be a philosophy of care that as you approach older adults, it's what you believe is the right thing to do and to maintain that philosophy in all care interactions. So even when you quickly want to get that patient out of your office, it's taking a step back, holding your hands behind your back, and letting the patient put their shoes and socks back on by themselves so that you can role model the importance of allowing them to engage in their own care and have that opportunity to bend over and go through the functional tasks that it takes to put their shoes on.